Well, welcome to more drawings by me, Sai. And today I'm going to do something that has a hill. And uh, I'm inspired by, I watched some Bob Ross today. Bob Ross is one of my big inspirations. I don't know if you can tell just by like watching these things. But I really admire that person and he taught me a lot. So, one of the things I love about Bob Ross's stuff is he does a lot of these like very... Uh, simple gestures that sort of become things through the illusion. That's why I like the side of a pencil as well. Because it turns into all kinds of shit. The vague suggestion of light and dark is often enough to become something. And I know we're not really seeing that just yet. But hopefully. You know? One of the things about trees is you can kind of just, like, do these lines up and down. And lines that splay out from the sides. And lines that splay out from those lines. Because trees are like little fractals. And then you fill them out with, like, their foliage and their leaves and the tiny branches. And that's when you get into the sharp parts of your pencil. But this one doesn't have any leaves, it's not that kind of tree. Or that time of year, I guess. But what it does have are people hanging out by it. Once I figure out where they are. I think I need to know more about this land before I can put people in it. I can't be the only tree in this land, so... I'm gonna do the same thing. Maybe I'm gonna not put as many details on this one kind of want that first tree to be the star. And also I like that these videos are a little fast. Tell me if you don't like it that they're fast. Because I could always spend more time on them if anyone prefers that. Really, I'm desperate for approval here. That's why you share your art with, like, big audiences. You want that mainstream success. You want that so many people like it that you know you're good. You're going to be safe doing the things you want to do. But until that happens, you, like, have to basically struggle to find the time and the effort and the willingness to put in the effort. Because sometimes it's like no one cares. Why bother? Like, uh, this is your calling or whatever, but it's also, like, an indulgent burden that society barely gives a shit about. Yeah, that's really Bob Rossi of me to say, is that art is, um, often unfulfilling, and, uh, sometimes you struggle to find the worthwhileness in it. But for me, that hasn't actually mattered because I've just always done it. I've always kept going with it. Except, I don't know, to say it hasn't mattered is still very much um, deceptive at best. Because I've always wanted people to like it. And it's bummed me out when I've made things that no one has liked. That's not a fun feeling at all. Oh, you know what are great? Pencil erasers. Just check this out. All those really uh, washy pencil marks become highlights. 
subtraction to create a sensation of light. Wow, yeah, I love that. These are fence posts, in case uh, that's not obvious, or they're not recognizable to you. I grew up in Rappahannock County, which is full of pastures and places where they grow sheep and cows. And oh my god, so many cows. I never really liked them. But I really didn't like what they represented. They represented the idea I lived somewhere podunk and nothingy. Which, uh... I don't know, made me want to be ambitious, it made me want to be like, I can break out of this small town. And now I'm in a small city, and I don't feel a need to break out of it. I kind of like it. And I think like, oh, it would be good to go pursue my dreams in Los Angeles or whatever. But I'm also very, I'm in a comfortable ass rut. There you go. Comfortable ass rut, the drawing. Thank you.